Good afternoon, everyone. Um, very happy to be here today. I'll probably be the last technical speaker you'll hear today. So apologies in advance for that. Um, as uh, it was mentioned, uh, this is extremely important for us to be in this type of events because, um, as uh, it was said, for the first time, the French government decided to put AI at the table. Um, not that it was not at the table before, but it's uh, definitely part of my um, attributions. And I think it means a lot in how, for now quite a few years, I would say back 2018, uh, France has decided that um, this technology is coming, it's gonna change the world, we are quite well positioned to be part of the conversation. We are determined to be in the race. And so we're going to put everything we can to be in this race. Fast forward where we are today, I think even uh, like the one we're here, um, kind of is, a, is kind of a testimony to um, how much the Paris scene has evolved. And the fact that we have so many of you uh, technical uh, leaders in your respective fields and companies gathered here in Paris coming from all around the world to talk about AI is probably the best example of what we've tried to achieve and makes me personally really proud. So you're going to think, um, what can a, a minister say about AI uh, to uh, such a technical crowd? I'm not going to teach you much about uh, all the technical aspects, but maybe just try and remind you uh, what we've been uh, pushing for and, uh, and try and, and reassure you that we still have AI as a really, really big priority um, and we'll do everything we can to help you succeed, uh, help you set uh, your companies in France if you haven't done so yet, help French companies. Uh, grow globally, and most importantly, I think help us uh, together build a vision on what can AI bring to society. Because this is something that has been really important for us, not just build everything we need to uh, make AI talent emerge and give all the talent the, what they need to develop amazing companies, but with the aim and objective of having a shared vision that goes a little bit beyond just commercial and economical interest and tries to find a way to really put it at the benefit of general interest and um, general population. To that extent, and I'll probably come back to that in a, in a few minutes, um, President Emmanuel Macron will hold a, an AI summit, an AI for action summit here in Paris, February 10 and 11th. And uh, please note the date in your respective agendas. We'll, um, we'll have a lot of discussion on AI at uh, that time. And we are very much looking forward to get all the input that you might have to make this event a success. We have the same idea of bringing everyone here in Paris, talking about how much um, there's still to be done in this field of technology, but also what is our common vision that we can all work for and building the bridge between probably like one of the most advanced technology and, and making sure that um, everyone in the world can benefit of it. Where do we stand? Um, people who work in startups in AI here in Paris probably know that better, but the scene is extremely exciting. Uh, there is not a single day since I took this position where I don't discover a startup which is basically doing something really cool and really impactful for the world. Um, and we're lucky that we have above 1,000 startups now working in this field in Paris. And they are attracting capital from all over the world. They have definitely um, been the assets that everyone is looking for when it comes to um, investing in AI and thinking through the future of those technologies. And this is here in Paris, like success stories that you probably all know. Mistral AI, I don't know if there are some people from Mistral here in the room. Hugging Face, Photo Room, I saw someone from Photo Room just there. Akimia, all those companies have that thing in common that they chose Paris to start um, their companies and their businesses because I hope, or maybe I'm convinced, they believe that they can find everything they need to uh, be very ambitious and very determined to be in the race here out of Paris. How did we do that? Um, first and foremost, thanks to you. Uh, I think uh, we are very lucky that we have amazing talents when it comes to science, to engineering, but also the ability to attract foreign talents to join this vision and to uh, dream big on how we are gonna make Paris an AI ecosystem. 
And so warm thank you to everyone who's believed in this vision because uh, it was probably not that clear maybe 10, 15 years ago that Paris would emerge as a, a big tech scene for AI. Um, but also um, because I think the state quite a few years ago now, back in 2018, decided to uh, think, okay, if we're serious, if first, if we're serious about AI, which I think everyone in this room is, if we're serious about becoming a platform for AI development here in France, we're gonna put um, a lot of money and, and, and effort to make it happen. So back in 2018, the first AI national strategy was uh, put in place with close to 2.5 billion euros to date invested in, the, in this strategy, not only to make you join us, uh, engineering scientific talent, but also to give you everything that you needed to uh, develop your models, develop your companies from computing capacity, maybe some of you have uh, at some point in their career used Jean Zay or Gen C, which uh, will soon be uh, available at the European level making sure that we continue raising the bar when it comes to research and we help you go from research to companies, attracting uh, also some of the best research labs worldwide here in Paris. And Google, Meta, all those companies set up labs here uh, over the last uh, five, six years. Um, and most importantly, also bringing capital uh, and VC funds, public capital through um, what we've uh, called France 2030, 2030. I think some companies used it because someone told me they heard about France 2030 on stage earlier today. Um, but trying to make sure that we can support from all the aspects you need and give you everything that will make your life as easy as possible to launch those amazing companies. In that journey, um, there's still a lot to be done. And maybe the one thing I'm here to ask for is please continue the conversation with us and continue telling us what you need. We know things evolve very quickly and we can only be relevant to you if we keep a constant dialogue into what's going on well, what's not going on well. This morning I, uh, I was lucky to have a breakfast with 10, 15, 10 12 amazing uh, AI companies and, and give us feedback on where we go because everything that is put to support this ecosystem is, is for you. If we don't have strong engineers, strong scientists um, that can achieve what they want to achieve. There is no AI companies, there is no AI adoption, there is no productivity gain or, or tools or faster way to um, fight big challenges like health, um, like uh, green tech transition, like uh, all everything that AI can bring to, to basically society. So we really want to make sure that we keep this strong link between science, engineering and business and that's why um, my ministry has been attached to uh, the Ministry of Research and Postgraduate Studies. Um, and that's why we more than ever need to build this conversation and get feedback from you on, on, on what we can do better. Maybe to, to conclude, I talked a bit about the summit and I said I would uh, come back to it. So 10 and 10, 11 of February 2025 um, here in Paris, there will be this summit which, let's be honest, will be a very important diplomatic event with a lot of head of states um, involved and, and where France will uh, really bring this position that uh, President Emmanuel Macron has been uh, pushing through on finding the right balance between regulation and innovation and making sure we don't hinder innovation in this field. But it will also be a way for us to attract very important people here in Paris when it comes to AI. Um, we're trying to build uh, particularly scientific days, just a few days before the summit. Um, so please keep uh, in mind that during those days, we'll have a lot of people gathered who would have very interesting uh, vision, very interesting um, projects that they want to develop, and we'll be lucky to have them all here in Paris. So we'll find a way to get as much people involved as we can. We'll also set up business days for companies to uh, meet counterparts, to meet big corporates. I think a big corporate is coming to talk in a minute on how much AI they've adopted in their businesses. It's great, but it's not majority of companies yet, and we definitely need to push for more. Um, so, so we'll try to make it very pragmatic for all the AI actors to be part of it and to take benefit of it. Uh, so I'd be happy to, to get you involved, uh, to get .ai involved as well. We were talking about that just earlier, because um, as some of you might know, Draghi made a report on uh, Europe and competitiveness of Europe, and that's how I'll close the speech. But 
we have now the technology being built here, but somehow we are lagging behind the rest of the world when it comes to adopting it. And there is no, there is no magical uh, way to make sure those technologies get all the benefits that they can. You need to adapt it, you need to change the way companies work, you need to change the way doctors work, we need to change the way um, professors use these technologies to help children learn faster. And we can only do that if we combine having you, best talent we can have, but also having companies, having local authorities, having basically the entire society trust what you're building and use it to go faster and build a better future. Thank you.